James, you really did suffer in silence today, didn't you? Yeah, we did, Rob. We did, and um, it was a real tough one to take. Real tough one to take today. Having said that, you were slightly <coughs> off the pace a little bit, certainly second half, and maybe they had the, the better of the, the midfield. Do you think? I think we we didn't. I don't think we were off the pace. I think our positional play around first contacts and second balls wasn't quite there. Um, we lost our fluidity in that, which we had first half, and we didn't really uh, match it second half like like they kind of up their game, if you like. Um, so something that we need we need to address. You said you wouldn't make the crowd the absence of a crowd an excuse, and I know you won't. But did it affect your players? Did it? Uh, I, you can still win first contact, second balls, win tackles, whether there's a crowd here or not. Um, I think I think it's just always that extra five percent of motivation. It, it probably benefits Salford more because they haven't got to deal with the crowd that's normally behind the dugout, the, the, the noisy boys, whatever you like, who, who, who tends to create that atmosphere for us. So they probably benefited more than than, than we lost out, if you like. And you made a big change at all. Stuck with Nick Townsend, Joe Day's been your preferred mm. option for mm. most of the season. Mm. But actually, he made a really good save at 0-0, mm. didn't he? Yeah, he did. And Nick was terrific. And it's, it's a tough one for Joe because obviously the COVID situation. But 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 Joe's a, a professional and understands it. So um, Nick Nick's come in and, and I, I can't put him at blame for any of the goals. You've got Harrogate home next week. Are you hoping to have two players in, in time for that game? That, that's, that's my aim, yeah. I'm hoping for that. Did today show you why you need to strengthen you said yesterday all around the pitch? Yeah, I just think it challenges people and stretches people to have more competition for places at times with with hopefully the quality that we bring in. We have got a big squad, don't don't get me wrong, and we've reduced that and there is quality here. But it's again just to add a little bit of um, bit of impetus within the squad to, to, to give us that extra lift. And uh, I must ask you, Courtney Bigger Richardson said yesterday he'd not been vaccine, uh, vaccinated. There's no intention of it either. Is there anything you can do as a manager? You're perturbed by that one? I, th- I think I think all I'll speak about on that is regards to I can't force people's opinions. I can't force my opinions onto people. My opinion is quite quite straightforward: is that everybody's have a choice. My choice is to be double vaccinated and have a booster. That's my prerogative to do that. Um, from the advice I'm given, but if people don't decide to do it, I can't, I can't control that. Thank you. In terms of that, there is. Then, are they made aware of the implications in terms of isolation? Yep. Could, yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 And and people are aware of that and the situation, and and they get the relevant advice. Right from that, um, Matty Dolan. Covid. Yeah, so after I spoke to you that, that, that we have found out then. So that's why it wasn't available today. It's your, it's, your, it's, your, it's, your, it's your captain. It's your captain that you lose and the captain that you miss. And um, just being around the building and being around the dressing room and um, on the pitch does, does, does make it difficult. But we've got able bodies to step up and step forward and, and play. Um, and you look on it today, we created enough. I thought at times we dominated the ball. I need to look at it back because I'm in... I'm in the moment emotionally, if you like, that, that I need to take myself away from that. Um, but we, 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 we have got to score our chances today. And, and, and you see the one first half, which is borderline penalty, I believe, um, on Dom Telford. But in fairness to the referee, he's not going to see that. If there's VAR, I think we get the penalty. But that's, again, that's not making excuses in this. this is, that's just the fact. The referee is not going to see that. But it's just those little things didn't go our way today. Um, with Matty, I'm out. Yeah, I, I believe it be. Yeah, ho- hopefully, if it, with the isolation period, as long as he tests, it's on day six and day seven. But um, I, I don't know what the situation is, whether he'll be available next week or not. Yeah, well, he'll be fine. For me, for me, it'll be it'll be it'll be a big ask for him to be available. Sort of stage, did the stop show what you've been missing? Potentially, yeah. It, it was just so we could try and get uh, around first contacts and second balls a little bit better with his with his. Um, Industrious behaviour, if you like, the way the way that he acts and gets on with things. So, it's something that we, we need to look at. No, it's, 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 it's all part of their development, and this this is where we're at. We're we're a club that's developed players for, for predominantly other teams at times, um, and that's part of their learning experience today to become better for it and and, and become better players, and and they will. I have no doubt about it. Yeah, it will be a tough one, and, and I don't know the situation whether we'll have fans or not. I don't know, but um, 
I'm hoping that we can get closer to that being resolved quite quickly.